So this is not a sponsored video. I'm not quite that lucky yet. But I did want to give a shout out to Folding at Home uh, and all the work they're doing. Um, if you feel like helping fight disease, uh, and in specific right now, maybe trying to find a uh, cure for coronavirus um, and work on a uh, work on a vaccine, uh, jump on over to foldingathome.org. Uh, follow their uh, you know watch their video. Follow their instructions under Start Folding. Um, Dedicate some of your computer resources to, to the cause while you're not using them. Hello everyone, welcome to a, another video in my Getting Started with Tourmaline series. So, uh, in this video, we're going to go over things pretty quickly. Uh, so if you haven't seen my previous videos, first of all, watch them, please. Uh, not just to get me more views, which I uh, would highly appreciate, uh, and uh, more upvotes, please. Uh, but, more than anything, uh, because you're not going to really understand anything that's happening in this video if you don't. So, uh, we're going to be going over the most recent updates to the bot API, uh, and uh, most recent updates here. So, uh, I released this eight days ago, it took me a little bit to get a video out, but we now support uh, the new dice object as well as the send dice method and a new update action for send dice, or for uh, for getting dice. Uh, we've got the new get my commands and set my commands methods for programmatically getting and setting your bots recognized commands. Uh, the new TGS sticker parameter for the create new sticker set and add to sticker set and the new thumb field for the sticker set object uh, as well as the method set sticker set thumb. So as you can see, they those pretty much follow uh, the the updates here in the bot API, uh, a little bit more concise, but let's go ahead and jump on into it. I'm just gonna show a little bit of code, not going to actually do any live coding today. Uh, let's jump on over into Emacs here. Yes, I am using Emacs now instead of Vim. No, I'm not going to explain why in this video. I'll save that for another one. Um, so, let's go ahead and uh, scale up this font a little bit for you. So as you can see, we've got a dice bot here. Uh, this is arguably even simpler than the echo bot example, um, as we're just, we're accepting a command called roll. Uh, we're responding with dice. Uh, we could also do reply with dice if we wanted to, and I'll show the difference between the two. Um, let's go ahead and jump on over into the terminal, run this. All right, jump on over into my test bot. I'm just going to run roll. And there you go. Got a three right in the middle. Okay. Uh, so. Reply versus respond. So as you can see, here I responded. And as you can see, like I didn't actually reply to this message. It's just a response. Respond is kind of a shortcut for send message um, to the current chat. Whereas reply actually does have some different behavior. So let's go ahead and close that, run it again, wait for it to finish. All right. And now if we run in here, roll, you can see it's actually replied to me. So that's the difference between the two. Uh, big difference, uh, small thing though, uh, very helpful methods. The only other like real important updates that I'd like to go over are just get my commands and set my commands. Uh, so they're they're both really simple to use. Uh, so they happen directly on the bot itself. So down here I can say bot dot set my commands and give it a named tuple. Well, actually an array of named tuples. Uh, command role description uh, you know, roll a die 
and that's really all it takes. And then as soon as your bot starts up, it's going to set the commands. Uh, it's going to give us this roll command. Um, and just, just to show this working, so let's go ahead and close this, jump back over. So as you can see, I already have uh, the roll command set up. Now, if I wanted to, this says roll a die, I could say, you know, roll a die with uh, three exclamation points. And then we're going to run it again. That's going to take a second longer because it actually has to recompile. Uh, so now if you, if you can see if I, if I run this, it's still going to be, you know, roll a die here. Uh, so let's just enter that. There we go. Now we've got roll, roll a die. So it, it just has to refresh. You can do that by like going to a different chat and then going back to the bot. Or you can do that just by sending something to the bot and it'll refresh the commands. It's just a client thing. But uh, that's that's pretty much it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this back because I don't actually care about that. Uh, but simple updates. Uh, I just I just kind of wanted to quickly go over the uh, the new dice stuff because a lot of a lot of people that are just getting started with bots seem to be kind of excited about it. Uh, so I wanted to share that. Um, and that's really it. So uh, if you liked this video, you know the drill. Uh, please, thumbs up, subscribe, hit that little notification bell to get notified when I put out a new video. Uh, every little thing helps. Also, if you, uh, if you have a couple bucks to spare and want to sponsor me, you can do so here. You can do so on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Watson. Uh, GitHub is currently matching donations. Uh, as far as I know, so uh, you know, even a dollar ends up being two for me, five to ten, uh, and and I really do think uh, I think I think I did a good job on these on these sponsorship tiers. So uh, if if you like my sense of humor, or if you like my videos, you know, you know what to do. But. Uh, but with that, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.